Welcome to another Energy Solutions Explainer video. This time we're going to be looking at uh, measuring and looking at how efficient your air source heat pump is. We get an awful lot of calls from customers who have had air source heat pumps installed um, by uh, other organisations and one of their most common problems is that uh, the air source heat pump seems to be costing them a lot more money uh, to run than they were led to believe. Um, quite often these companies have gone bust, no longer trading for whatever reason. So they look at us to help them resolve their problem by the coefficient of performance, which is also known as COP. Um, a COP of three means that the heat pump produces three units of heat energy for every one unit of electricity it consumes. Uh, this is usually within a temperature range of minus 3 degrees centigrade to 10 degrees centigrade. Um, and it should be fairly stable at between 3 and 3.5. So in this example, we are looking at a Mitsubishi Ikodan controller. And as you can see from the main control function, it states that in March, this unit can delivered 1,034 kilowatt hours of energy compared to 566 kilowatt hours that it had consumed. Um, this basically means that the COP is about two, which really isn't very good. So there is something wrong with the setup of this particular machine. An additional testing and diagnostics on this system would be necessary to get to the bottom of the situation. From the weather compensation curve we can see the two set points on the graph. First off is the outside temperature of minus 2 is going to produce a flow temperature of 46 degrees and then when the temperature increases outside to at 15 degrees it will only be putting 30 degrees through the underfloor heating. So from this screen we can see the, the hot water settings that we've got. Firstly with the Legionella purge um, it's always good to check that it's being done on a weekly basis so we've got it set to 65 degrees Every 15 days, so I'm going to change that to 7. Start time is going to be 3 o'clock in the morning, which is good. Uh, that's basically saying that the unit will try and hold the Legion of the Purge for 3 hours as a maximum duration time. And then basically it's going to hold that 60 degrees for 60 minutes and what I'm going to do is basically change that temperature down to 60. That's more than enough to meet the current regulations for Legionella prevention in a domestic residence. So looking at the hot water side of things again, um, we've got here the settings for this, so it's basically the maximum hot water temperature that the tank will be at is 50 degrees. Um, max temperature drop is allowing it to drop 10 degrees. We've got a 170 litre tank, I am going to drop that down to the minimum 5 degree drop. Uh, and then this one's going to say that the tank's going to run for the in hot water mode for 60 minutes which should be fine for the unit to produce that temperature water without engaging the immersion heater and it's not going to go back into hot water mode for about half an hour so that should be fine. From the uh, front screen here that we can see all of the icons um, that one there shows that the compressor fan outside is running so if I was uh, going to go and stand outside at the moment I'd expect to get a blast of cold air. That's the current temperature of the tank. That there is the fiddle factor that's being applied to the um, weather compensation curve and that can be seen um, in one of the other videos that we've already done 
Um, this is your hot water side of things. Um, top left there, so at the moment the pause button is saying that the hot water isn't running. But then also, strangely, we've got the timer um, icon on the hot water side. And also the heating is currently running because it's got the play symbol. By virtue of the fact that there's no other icons underneath the, um, the heating symbol there, basically means that the system is, um, has been plumbed as a single zone heating system and they're just relying on the underfloor heating actuators upstairs and downstairs to um, control the flow of the water through the underfloor circuits.